All right, I'm going to show you how to um, connect to your iPod so then you can put files on it such as NES ROMs and so forth. Um, you just go to the website that I've got for SSH, download that program, and then install it. Um, the next thing you need to make sure you do is on your iPod, um, you've got you go to installer and then you make sure that you have installed um, it's going to be in system open SSH you need to make sure you install that and that's installed on there if you've got if you've already jailbroken it and gotten this SASH icon then you'll be fine just make sure it says on um, then once you've got that installed make sure you go to settings um, general and auto lock make sure that's on never and then just leave your iPod on like that and plugged in then go to your computer and start up that program, the engine site data freeway. Come on, start. And um, this is where we'll set up a connection. I've already set up one, but I'm going to set up another one just like the same thing. Our display name, this is where I just put iPod. Um, leave all the rest of the settings the same, go to the connections tab, host or IP address, you get that from your iPod, by going to settings, and then Wi-Fi, and then you click the blue arrow, and then there's your IP address, you put that in there. Then for port, we will use port 22. Username will be root. Password will be alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E. And then you have to type it again. And then you can do save password to save you time. And then we are going to use root directory as a forward slash right underneath the question mark sign. And click OK. And then you can just double click on that icon. Wait for it to load. And there's all your iPod folders. So from this screen to um, start putting in your ROMs, you're going to need to go to the folder labeled as private. And then go to the folder labeled as var. And then you're going to go to the one called root. And then inside the media folder is where you will put the ROMs in a folder that you will create called ROMs. R O M little s. You can do that just by clicking the new folder icon and then you just fill out the information as so. And then click OK. And then all you do is just drag the ROMs that you've downloaded, probably from oldcomputer.com, put them in the folder called NES that you'll create, and then just put the .NES files in there. And then whenever you're done with everything, you can just click the disconnect button. You might have to restart your iPod, I'm not really sure, but click on your NES icon and you should have 
your files and games.